Welcome to the Galena Diaries, where we take you on a journey through the charming town of Galena, Illinois, and share our family's day-to-day experiences along the way. I'm Angela, and this is my incredible son, Max, who loves all things YouTube and is a budding video editor. I love making videos, and I'm the co-creator of this series. So hit that subscribe button if you're ready to join us. Let's get into it. This past February, we went on a special adventure with Max to explore more of my favorite place on Earth, Italy. This was my fourth trip to Italy and Maxwell's first. As my husband and I plan on retiring in Italy in eight years, each time we go becomes an opportunity to vet another region to see which part of Italy we will eventually choose. On this trip, we are exploring the Italian Riviera in the north. We flew from Chicago to Milan on an overnight flight and arrived the next day at our first destination, Santa Margarita, Italy. Let's take a look around town. Our Airbnb is in a very central location here, close to the neighborhood shops and cafes. As we are visiting during February, there are lots of festivals and celebrations happening. Our accommodation was sunny, bright, and spacious and featured a large terrace overlooking the city and the sea. It had all of our favorite travel amenities, including an Italian-style stovetop coffee maker, perfect to help offset our jet lag. We love the fresh produce markets in almost every neighborhood that we've seen in Italy. Just look at these gorgeous lemons. I was excited to see all the baked goods, treats, and chocolate, and I wanted to try them all. Okay, Max, what did you find? Something that I really like. Now, let's take a walk closer to the sea. Santa Margarita is a historic fishing village in Liguria, located about 35 miles southeast of Genoa on one of the most famous stretches of the Italian Riviera. This city is beautiful to walk, and we are happy to be here during the off season while there are fewer tourists. We took a stroll up to the beautiful Villa Durazzo, built in 1678. This building is often used for weddings in the warmer months and features period furniture, manicured gardens, and lovely gulf views.
Afterwards, we happened upon a festive looking carnival tent on the beach and wanted to take a peek inside. It was full of local families enjoying a show for children. Soon, it was time for dinner, and my first pizzeria in Italy did not disappoint. First, we had a starter of homemade focaccia, followed by pizza. I couldn't believe that these were personal size. Then it was time for bed to prepare for the next day. I love hearing the church bells that ring every hour. In case you are curious, they do not ring after 10 p.m. and usually start at 7 a.m. The next day, it was time for a hiking adventure. We took the famous path from Santa Margarita to Portofino, just three miles up the coast. And what a beautiful hike it was. The color of the water is a gorgeous turquoise dream in this part of the world, and the weather was perfect for being outside. The small village of Parachi is a nice spot to stop along the way. Soon we arrived to Portofino, arguably one of the most picturesque locations in the world. Portofino. It's very sunny, but very beautiful. Even in the off season, there are plenty of shops and restaurants that are open. We never had an issue finding a great place to eat. to enjoy a Valentine's Day dinner and gelato after. The next morning we stopped for chocolate croissants and then headed to Camoli on the train. Public transportation in Europe is so fast and affordable. It only took us about 10 minutes to get there. Moli is a fishing village and tourist resort located on the west side of the peninsula of Portofino. We enjoyed checking out the markets and walking on the pebble beach.
It's just a quick walk from the upper part of town down to the beach. During lunch, we tried a Marangato, which is a coffee drink with chocolate, Nutella, and whipped cream. The next day, we brewed some more coffee and decided to take a drive to Rapolo. Rapolo was such a nice village to walk around, people watch, and enjoy the day. Along the waterfront, you can see Rapolo Castle, built in 1551. We stopped at several markets that day as they seemed to go on for half a mile. Maxwell found some cool Italian clothes and I found a new scarf, all for 12 euros. Soon it was time to prepare to go home and say goodbye to Italy for now. We truly enjoyed our time here and we're so impressed with the beauty and easy way of life on the Italian Riviera. We have so much exploring still to do and cannot wait to come back again soon. Thank you for joining us on this adventure and thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.